Hey everyone, Jose here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a teacher named Miss Rutherford. So Miss Rutherford, if you're watching, I want you to reach out to me because I have to thank you. Uh, and Miss Rutherford, she one day, and she was an English teacher, one day she decided to challenge our class. And she said to our class, all right class, I am going to challenge you to write a poem. If you write a poem and if it's good, we're gonna publish it into. We're gonna we're gonna submit it to this pub for publication in this book, and so I said, sure, why not? I try to do the fastest poem that I can write, right? So I wrote this little teeny tiny poem, a tiny poem, and the small poem that I wrote, little did I know, would come out in this book, right? The Silent Journey. This is actually a lot of people don't know this, but this poem that I wrote in high school came out in this book and it actually came out on the front page okay so for those of you to see now why is this a big deal well it's a big deal for multiple reasons but let me just share this with you and the title of this video is called don't let anyone cancel you don't let anyone cancel you I know we're living in cancel culture where everything is being canceled everyone seems like it's being canceled but the reality is, whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, whatever aspiration you have for yourself, for your family, for your team, for your organization, for your business, okay, don't let anyone cancel that out. And I just want to share with you this story. Shortly after that, I got intrigued. That little poem published in a book intrigued me to say, wait a minute. Maybe there is more inside of me. Maybe, maybe I can become an author. Maybe I can become a published author. And so I started to believe that seed of hope in me. And so one day I, I started writing this book of, of this experience that I got into a couple years before. I got in a terrible car accident, almost cost me my life. Then I had to go through this hard time of, uh, of, of, of therapy and so forth. And I wrote all this down. And I remember one day saying, wait a minute, maybe I can publish this book to give hope to people, for my family, for my friends. And so one day I shared this uh, desire with a trusted leader. This person is a great leader, by, by the way. They're, they're, uh, they, I love them and, and they're, they're, um, they're a great person, they're a great man. But they were short-sighted. They were short-sighted. And... Which which brings me to principle number one for you, for your goal, for your dream that you have for yourself or your team, for your family. Be careful who you share your dream or your goal with because not everyone's going to help you accomplish it. Okay. And so I remember sharing. I was super excited. I said, hey, I want to publish this story. I want to publish this book. And, and he looked at me and he said, well, have you ever been to the library? And I said, yes. He said, have you seen all the books in the library? I said, there's a lot of books in the library, yes. And he said, why would you want to publish another book? I mean, there's so many books out in the world. And I almost let that person cancel my dream. But because I did the following, it didn't die. And here's what I did. I told a friend of mine shortly after I was discouraged, I was down and out, and I told my friend, and he, in essence, said this. He, this is, these are not his exact words, but this is what I remember hearing. He says, yes, there are a lot of books, but no one can say it like you can say it. No one can say your story like you can say it. And that revived that dream. And here's what happened next. I published my first book, at my first booklet, really, at 17 years old. 17 years old, published my first book. Now, don't get this book because this book is horrible. But what this book did for me was that it, it grew the desire and it grew the appetite in me to continue to go after my dreams. It gave me the courage to pursue the things that were in my mind and that were in my heart. So don't let no one cancel you out. Don't let yourself cancel you out. Whatever dream you have, whatever goal you have, no matter how small or seemingly small it looks, it can start a ripple effect of change and transformation in your life. 
And so because I didn't allow that person to cancel my dream, then that dream began to grow. And shortly thereafter, I was going through a detour, what I call a detour experience in my own life and career and faith. And, and I wanted to document what I've been learning. And so I wrote another book. And this time it was bigger. And this time it was better. And this time it reached places like Egypt and Mexico and Canada. And it touched a lot of people. I touch a lot of people with this book. And because of I didn't allow that to cancel me, I continued to write. And then I wrote a small book, just an ebook called Run to Win, because I wanted to encourage people, a, a small little quick read. And then I wanted to encourage people who were interested in my faith, and I wanted to, to write this book. And now finally, um, after years and years of, of trial and error, trial and error, and, and, and practicing my art, I have, which is coming out later this year, September 27, 2022, my new book, The Lead Through Method, The Proven Steps to Getting Unstuck, leading your life and getting results. Guys, I am so excited about this book. I poured uh, my life into this book. There's some stories of my life in this book that I want to share with you to help you get unstuck, to lead your life and to get the results that you want to get to. So the book is not available yet, but it is available for pre-order on e the ebook version on amazon.com. And it's called the lead through method. And so the reason I wanted to share that story with you as I share my new book with you is the very fact that whatever dream you have, whatever goal you have, whatever hope you have, don't let anyone talk you out of it. If it's in you, it's got to come out of you. If it's in you, it's got to come out of you. But you have to work it every single day until you finally see it in your hands. And so... Don't give up. Don't quit. Okay? Leap through it. Talk to you soon.